Hello, my friends, and here we are. My friends, and here we are at the Disorder campaign of Let's Play Dawn of War: Winter Assault. And uh, we got to like I I I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to keep every, anybody in suspense for too long because uh, because the char the character that we're introducing today is so much bigger than life. So I'll get right uh, right to it with me, as you would expect. Hey, everybody, it's Lost Robokai here. I'm very excited for this because. Uh, I, I do love Winter Assault, but the Disorder campaign kind of loses its way for me, sort of, some way down the line, but it opens very strongly and uh, with this stage, primarily because it has, you know, the best character in it. The best character. <laughs> let's introduce, let's just go ahead and introduce you to him right, uh, right now. We're, like, my, my, my hype won't do him justice. <laughs> boy for a long time now. The Imperial boys before them was easy, but these boys, were oh, they too tough for us? They smash us good lest we run. You talking scared? You a coward? Them only you eats. I's got more brains than you. I says we run. And I says you shut the hell up. Oh, the boss. Questions? Good. We need more boys for these here war before we take the Chaos Boys down good. This here is the first of the five big orc clans. To take them, we need to destroy their big war banner. That'll teach them. There's my boy. I absolutely adore that introduction. Like, there is no better way to uh, to introduce an orc. We can talk forever about how uh, how the, or, uh, the orcs look at size as a, as a thing, and how that determines rank and blah 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 blah. There is nothing quite the same as seeing as seeing this massive blinged out orc just blast the crap out of a somewhat smaller, almost as blinged out orc. And just this bass rumble of, Oh, I said you shut the hell up! <laughs> I was just like, okay, yep, you're definitely the boss. You are definitely the boss. Sir, you are in charge now. Speaking of... I hear you, Gorguts. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, the, so pretty much this entire mission is nothing but uh, nothing but orcs. You will not see a single chaos unit in play. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll eventually, I'll eventually stomp a couple of chaos dudes, but yeah, yeah I'm not but you won't be, play as them. Yeah, I'm not going to be playing as chaos uh, this time around. And the, the, this mission also does uh, does a great job of illustrating how uh, how orcs how orcs work in so far as. You might have noticed that I didn't bother e paying any attention whatsoever to the Slugger Boys that were trying to stop me from te uh, tearing down that WAH banner. I, because I knew the instant I took down the WAH banner and proved I was the boss, they would be my orcs. That's basically how the, how most of this map is going to go. We're going to be going around, we're going to be slaughtering a few uh, a few poles, and then uh, and then getting access to what is uh, what the theme of those particular orc boys is. Pretty much, I have to I have to stomp these guys because uh, because they they are technically part of a clan that I'm not going to have access to for a long time now. So they're in the way and they gotta yeah, them, go. Them boys is rude. Them boy them boys is in the way. They ain't orky enough. They, I, I will admit, like the first time I pl I played the, uh, this mission, I uh, I was stuck for about 20 minutes looking for this specific uh, specific base. Yeah, because the uh, the map. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the map, the widescreen map just messed with me. Uh, 
They should have followed the power of gold. They don't get any of it. Nope, no choice but to follow the boss. I, I love it. It's so, like, uh, it's the wonderful egocentricity of, of like, the orc leadership. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's just Gore, Gore Guts is so perfect. He, he really is. He's the quiz, he's the quiz essential, uh... Orc that actually understands orcs. Like, like the big thing you'll always find about Gorgas is not so much that he just that he's he's the biggest and he's the strongest. He also has the the best understanding of exactly how the orc mind functions and therefore is able to like use manipulate and and you know control orcs as necessary with his uh, you know to to effect great effect. And uh, P.S. Uh, P you will notice that I'm not I'm not giving a crap about that uh, that strategic point. I don't need it. The only thing I re I really needed here was enough wa banners to get me up to my orc resource. So I like I should explain that real uh, real quick. Orcs have uh, have not just uh, requisition power like everybody else, but they also have an orc resource. The more wa banners you have, the uh, the higher that is. This is fundamentally the number of uh, the number of orcs you can have on the field at any one time. And so, like, every time I reinforce a Slugaboy squad, that permanently consumes an orc. Every time one of those Slugaboys dies, I, uh, like, I can then replace it. This leads to a very interesting tug-of-war, where a leader, like a, the knob that I'm currently building, costs two orc resources. What, how does that function, and what is the value of that versus just two Slugaboys? Um, and then there's like also one shooter boy versus one tank busta, who are all things that uh, that I'll talk about here uh, here in a minute. They those all cost one a uh, one orc as well. So you end up you end up having to rationalize the the problem in front of you in a lot of different ways to pl uh, to play orcs well, which is great because uh, because once you're in you're in a fight, it's really difficult to uh, to micromanage orcs like. <laughs> you can kind of you can kind of do it with storm boys. You can kind of do it uh, do it with tank busters. Uh, be uh, like much beyond that. Good bloody luck. Just good yeah. bloody luck. Too too many bodies. Too many things going on. <laughs> I love it. Like even with with the vehicles that uh, that I just got. Like you're gonna notice that I use them very di uh, differently. In a, in a lot of ways, precisely because there's just too, like, we've already been over how the pathfinding in this game has holes in it, to say the least. And I just don't want to deal with it. Gets to get ourselves the flamethrowers, yes. So, yeah, we have, haven't been go, uh, going over the, the, these these quite uh, quite so well, but the first place we went over was Tank Busters. That was their entire theme. Oh, yeah, here we go. Me another base. Oi, that's one big cape. Okay, boys, we got all the camps so far, and this ain't no different. We march in and take the squiggers for us, boys. <laughs> Sure, their gate is tough, but we kill their power, and the sparkly thing around the gate goes bye bye. Them power generators are tough. Give me some rocket boys to blow them up fast. Yeah, the second uh, second place that we, uh, we picked up is the machine shop that, uh, that gets us a kill a can and some uh, some war uh, some war tracks, which we've seen before. And then the last one were Burna Boys. That that gave us a special weapon that we can put uh, put on our Slugger Boys. It's just it's a flamethrower. That it's not it's not more interesting than that. It's a burner. Mm. Yeah, they they somewhat limited what uh, what an orc squad can get uh, from like from like Dawn of War to Winter Assault. It used to be you could equip a lot of different weapons to them, but they sort of reduced it to uh, to being only the tank busters have the rocket launchers, only the only big shooters for the shooter boys, only the burner for the for the regular boys. A lot of that is because uh, because they got a, bu a bunch of di uh, different abilities for them in the multiplayer. Um, the tank busters in particular can uh, can get upgraded with it, with infiltration, which makes them an absolute damn nightmare. It's <laughs> uh, a perfect description for the orcs, an absolute damn nightmare. Uh huh. The pathfinding problem is precisely the reason why I'm handling this the way I am. While you're over here, the uh, the enemy will will slowly jump more and more storm boys in to try, uh, try to mess with you, 
And the traditional wisdom would be something like, hey, let's put some Slugga Boys in there to cover them. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please, for the love of God, don't do that. Like, the Pathfinding can't handle it on this mission. You will, you will spend literally ten minutes just wrestling everything around. So my solution, <laughs> use the kill a can for, clo uh, for close support. And that's it. Every, like, like beyond that, everything else can just it can just get kicked around. Wrestling with the boys. This is this is the only way you're going to do this without wanting to tear your hair out. Yeah. And it also has, has the has the benefit of uh, ruining the uh, the upcoming cutscene. I absolutely love do uh, love doing that in God of War. Just just like uh, like <laughs> putting un uh, units for all of the uh, the in-game rendered cutscenes and just ruining everything. It's powerful. Just photobombing. It's a, it's a powerful degree of sass, is what it is. Every so often you'll uh, you'll get you'll get you'll get some really some really good ones Ju uh, just just with uh, like one particular one particular orc peeking up into the camera because he's placed just correctly. I don't manage to do, uh, do that this time, but I'm hoping to pull it off at least at least one point or another. <laughs> it's like the it's the oblivion NPCs next to when you're actually having a conversation, or do, or the uh, the freaking. Um, uh, adoring fan from uh, from Oblivion just popping up at literally the worst time. It, it is worth noting, by uh, by the way, if you see me if you see me messing around with my mouse a little bit, I was having some problems where uh, where my mouse was like disappearing on me randomly. So sometimes I'll just like spam a command just to see where my pointer is. Yeah, Gorkatz is, uh, sits in a very interesting position as the, uh, as the character of Dawn of War series, I think, who has the most appearances. Uh, he's in Winter Assault, he's in Dark Crusade. He also appears in Soulstorm, and he appears in Dawn of War 3, so he, he gets around a lot. I think Gabriel, Gabriel Angelos... He shows up even more than Gabriel yeah. Angelos. Like, let that sink in. Gabriel Angelos is the one who, who, who comes the closest, I believe. But yeah, like, uh, and so, like, he's, he's, he's honestly, like, the, probably one of the most popular characters. Oh, dear. Now the game introduces a mechanic that I actually get incredibly sick of, and you'll get incredibly sick of by the end of the, end of the thing, where you have to run somebody up to a reasonable sort of distance and use your ability. And unlike every other ability in the game, where your character will walk up and use it, uh, the character will not walk up and use it and will instead declare, I'm not close enough. Fortunately, the uh, the, <laughs> the mad doc here literally just needs to get close to the squiggas. Mm. But uh, that is definitely go uh, going to uh, going to be a thing a thing as we go forward, and I'm going to hate every moment of it. There it is. There we go. And obviously that that flips everything over as well. So I also get the looted leave and rust. Nice. <laughs> 
be family. It's time for, for more fire runs. And I know just the Yumi outpost yeah. to start the oh, bring war. The back that war. Oh, and bring the squiggers. We <laughs> found you. Don't hold on to What do you want? God, he is. Like, <laughs> seriously, I, I, I find it a travesty that, uh, that every every major encyclopedic entry on, like, the lexiconum and everything, when talking about orcs, doesn't ju uh, just have every picture of, of Gorguts there. <laughs> he epitomizes the or uh, the orcs in every beautiful yeah. way. He's, uh, he's, he's definitely, uh, he's definitely what you might just call, like, an orc that isn't aligned to any sort of... Because when you, when you talk about special characters with the orcs, they're all, they all seem to have some sort of alignment, you might say, to the, to the themes and the clans of orcs. Uh, so, like, even, even, like, the biggest, baddest orc there is, Gazgal, uh, he is, he is very much like a goth orc. And they're the guys who are all dead serious and don't really sort of display much in, you know, eccentricity. Nazdreg's a bad moon, so he's all about the flashy tech. Uh, a lot of all the other characters are also, like, specific, specific character archetypes. And, uh, just one stop <laughs> <laughs> Gorguts is Gorguts is a well-rounded character. He's, you know, he laughs when things are funny. He gets mad, and he does them all in a very orky sort of way, you know, like, like, and and just sounds like he's having the time of his life because he's basically managed to gather a giant horde of of bloody football fans behind him, and he's marching at the head. They're all singing, and they're all singing his song, and he loves it. And, and that's what's so great about that's what's so great about orcs, and that's what's so great about Gorguts. His his voice actor is fantastic. He real he really is, and his his writing, as Robokai said, is very is very flexible, which is not something that you frequently see a lot of in in, in orc in orc writing. He has a, like the the psychological term for it is that he uh, he has a he has a flexible empathetic response. That's like, like, like when you want to talk, uh, talk about communication styles and empathy styles and blah 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 blah. You know, you're talking about crap like introversion and extroversion and, and how, uh, however have you. And there, there's certain people who are just comfortable on both ends of the spectrum. And that is very much Gorguts. Uh, and precisely because, uh, because of that, he can epitomize all things Gorg. It's so beautiful. Yeah, like, like later on, you, you you start to learn about he's he's got a fondness for wacky technology as well. He likes trying new things. He likes he likes messing around. He he understands that there is a there is a critical point at which the the orcs will tend to collapse in on themselves. He's a lot. He's basically just like I said. He's the guy that understands orcs perhaps better than any other orc in existence, and that's his strength. And that's like and it, and that's every time you see him pulling off something that he really shouldn't be getting away with. It's because of that. It's because he knows his limits, but also he knows the limits of orcs. And he knows the ceiling of what orcs can achieve is extremely high when they're all focused. But he also knows that what they can, they can very easily fuck up if they're not. Yup. And uh, incidentally, this is li like I'm kind of show uh, showing off how you how you do orc in in the uh, in the most basic way here. I have I have one group which is all of my slugger and shooter boys, just like the chaff that uh, that cause a whole bunch of problems or that uh, that cause uh, uh, that uh, that cause a whole bunch of havoc. And then I I have the the group of tank busters who are the ones that actually get the job done. I'm being very careful to uh, to micromanage <laughs> them to go yes. after exactly what I care about, which is the stronghold. Yeah, the key, the key to fighting orcs in Dawn of War is always to be look look and see where the non chaff units are. Because they'll be there in the wings ready to screw you. Yeah. You look for the flash kits, you look you look for the tank busters, you look uh, you look for sometimes the storm boys, it depends. Um, but like, uh, like like don't look at shooter boys and and slugger boys. They are just they're not they're, they're not they're not important, even if they're in your face. This planet is mine now! All the Orc boys answer to me! Who the war boss? You Gorgut! You the biggest, baddest war boss ever! 
You bigger than Nastrak! You be bigger than Gosgul! Nobody bigger than Gosgul, you ignorant kid! At least, not yet. Now, where's my flying thing? Oh, I got me a Chaos Boy Skull by the name of Lord Troll to claim for me pointy stick! Come on, and there's, a, there's another character that we're going to be introduced to that's quite, fra quite frankly the funniest fucking character that they've ever introduced to Dawn of War. <laughs> He really it like like it is it is almost unfair exactly how much Gorgut said in the that like twenty seconds. It really kind of is because he he talked about Nazdrek, who who Robokai mentioned before. He talked about Gazkul, oh, God. who is an entire sub a subject in uh, unto himself, you know. And and he, he he as we were talking about before, displayed that he knows he's not as big as, uh, as Gazgul, that he still has, uh, has has room to go up, showing a humility that uh, that is pretty much unheard of uh, amongst orcs, or <laughs> not pragmatism, yet. depending on how uh, how you want to look at it. Then he uh, he he showed he showed his plan to get to that uh, that at uh, that point, showing the cunning brutal uh, brutality that we talk about, along with the brutal cunning uh, cutting that we just saw on display. You know, like. It's almost unfair. There is so much to talk, uh, to talk about. Fortunately, the uh, the next the uh, the next mission gives us some more uh, some more time to go uh, to go over it. Strictly speaking, a chaos mission, but like Gorguts Gorguts is gonna steal a lot of the show because that's what <laughs> yeah, Gorguts does. Like, <laughs> Kroll is like a fucking two dimensional like cardboard cutout in comparison, but that's part of his charm. It really is. I can't wait. I'm gonna have so uh, so much fun with it. But until no, but the then, uh, then, friends, I have been cool guy. Appreciate you, and I will see you all again soon. Yeah. <laughs>